Ukraine surrenders. After a four-month pitched bipartisan battle in Congress, the United States decides to do nothing. No more aid to Ukraine and Israel, with Senate leaders saying we can save additional tax dollars by disbanding the INS and the Border Patrol and completely opening our borders to all. Congressional leaders state that the vicious backslapping and high-fiving have stopped, saying that there were no more back-alley deals available to be made. In a related and unprecedented strategic reversal, Zelensky invites Putin and Xi to a summit in Warsaw, Poland. The announcement coincides with an invitation by Zelensky for Russia to annex Poland. Local blog reporter in Crimea films Putin giving Zelensky a great big bear hug and is advised by Zelensky to act now while the U.S. Congress fiddles and lets its budget collapse on March 1st. Says he would much rather stand up with an ally that backs up his words with action than to ever work with the U.S. government again. Reports from Beijing indicate Xi will attend, stating it appears to be a good time to re-examine the Taiwan issue since the U.S. is busy in the Middle East. In an announcement from the White House, the president applauds this great victory and announces the stopping of all LNG shipments to Europe. Says we must allow Russia to rebuild its economy and once again become the main supplier of energy to Europe. Only then will we achieve true peace and prosperity. If you are happy with this future, do nothing. Website, firstamendmentfreepress.org. It's in the book. Buy on Amazon, 1540, 54, 835.